Hey, today is Wednesday, December 6th. I'm out here in front of my place, and some of you have probably seen uh, the news of Southern California. There's a big fire going on. Um, yeah, it's kind of gross up here. I mean, here, take a look. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe it's not showing up well, I don't know. You can kind of tell from those trees. It's like two, it's like three thirty in the afternoon right now. The sky just looks gross. I mean, it's just like, oh my god! Let's see this? This looks, looks like, it's, oh, yep. So, yeah, and it smells like burning out here. I think it's going to get to some people, might get to me, it got to me last time there was a fire here, like breathing issues, but um, hopefully get that put out quick, last time I heard there was zero containment, so I gotta go grab for some groceries, gotta hit the bank. Yeah, look at that. That's at 4.30 in the afternoon, 4.15 I mean. That's it. It's one funky looking sun. Yeah. Look. Yep, that's what it looks like at 4.15 in the afternoon. So I just got finished running some errands. Uh, and I'm going to go get something to eat. Get some Carl's Jr. Gonna jump on the freeway. Uh, traffic. Okay. Catch you guys a bit. Bye. Yep. Yep. Carl's Jr. Got one of the new little all-star $5 meal things. Said so try it. Why not, right? Catch you guys when I'm done with that. I'll show you that, actually. Alright. I'll show you the food. So here you go. Comes in this box. Double cheeseburger. Spicy, crispy chicken sandwich, fries, cookie, a drink. I am a happy camper right now. Major cheat meal. Cheat meal. This will be fun editing because I'll get hungry looking at it. Alright, catch you in a bit. Bye. Cookie to finish, cookie to finish. Now, I don't know if this camera's gonna pick it up, but if you look around, everything's all hazy. I you can kind of see it through the lights over there. Yeah, that's smoke and ash floating in the air. That's not fog. Oh, just got done eating and noticed that. The smell outside reminds me of uh, the campgrounds whenever I go camping because there's everybody's lighting a fire and there's smoke drifting all over the place. Um, kind of smells like that outside right now. It's also messing with my breathing. Um, <clears throat> I feel slightly congested. Uh, it's not the cold weather that's doing that. It's just ash and smoke floating around because of this wildfire here in California. Um, I've had some friends send me some pictures. And I'm watching some Instagram stories too. So, a buddy of mine sent me this from down near Ventura. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. That's from the freeway. That is a gnarly fire up on the hill. It's off of an exit called Sea Cliff, right around that area. A uh, buddy of mine on Instagram put a Instagram story up. Let's see if I can pull that back up. Do, 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 do. Yeah. 
There you go. That is the uh, the fire that's raging in up here. In, I guess you can call it Southern California slash Central Coast, kind of right in the middle. It's right there off of Ventura. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> pretty bad. That's what caused that blackout. And I'm gonna it, I'm gonna insert a uh, clip here of said of said fire uh, blackout that happened the other night and I can't see a damn thing when I do that see it's time to turn the light off it's dark so you look around down there I see the traffic lights still working there's a looks like a work truck light out there and barely see anybody walking around you can hear footsteps everywhere but it's creepy back on. I may have put one yesterday. I put another one today because it was creepy as hell. Um, walked outside, tried to do some vlogging, but that wasn't happening. Turned the light off my cam off my camcorder and realized there's people walking around out there, but they're not saying anything and they're not talking to each other. It was kind of like a creepy zombie movie. So I'm gonna head over to the shop, get myself a cigar. Spend time with the guys. We are currently watching Future Man on Hulu, which is a freaking great show, by the way. If you haven't seen it, um, it's fun. It's a great thing. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, guys. It is Thursday, December 7th, here in what I was calling lovely Santa Barbara. Uh, I'm at work. Um, last week, I was talking about showing you guys the beautiful size of Santa Barbara. Well, that's not gonna happen for a while. If you have been following the news, we have a fire, a wildfire, very close to us. <clears throat> it has actually reached Carpinteria. Uh, started in Santa Paula. It's burned over 96,000 acres. And the air quality up here has, is horrendous. Uh, it has gotten terrible outside. I had to actually wrap a scarf around my face uh, to not breathe. I didn't want, I have a, uh, one of those, <laughs> like work masks those blue ones I might actually wear the work mask tomorrow um, depends uh, and I'm still trying to open up the shop right now but yeah it's about 10 o'clock right now in the morning um, when I finish opening shop I'm gonna go outside with this with you guys and show you how bad it's actually gotten um, if you got a couple years ago there were some pictures surfaced of uh, the air quality in Beijing at Forbidden City where you couldn't even see like 10 feet in front of you. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, I was driving down the hill off the Mesa into Santa Barbara and you couldn't see the city beyond the freeway. Uh, that's how bad it was. So after I finish opening shop, I will come back at you guys. I'm gonna take, take you guys outside and take a look and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, again, the fire has burned over 96,000 acres. Uh, it's it's reached Carpinteria, uh, and I'm worried that it's going to make its way up here. But we didn't, you know. I'm hopeful that they can stop it or slow it down in time. So I will be back at you guys. Uh, I'm at work, so I won't be doing a whole lot from here. Maybe just if I do, it's just going to be talking. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Um, finish opening shop. All right, see it. Yeah. Can't see the Mesa. So there you guys go. It looks bad out there. It smells like a campground. It smells like a fire. Um, it's bad out there. Um, I'm not too worried about the fire making its way here to Santa Barbara. Uh, not yet, anyway. It's just, it's still burning south of Carpinteria. There's voluntary evacuations going on. Uh, and the uh, southernmost part of Carpinteria, they say east of Baylord. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's why I'm not gonna be able to show you guys the beautiful sights of Santa Barbara for a while, uh, because it looks like that outside. Um, even after they get the fire under control, it's still gonna look like that for a little while. Uh, yeah, it just it doesn't look good out there. I'm gonna do I'm kind of huddled down inside the shop right now, like a like a hobbit. Uh, in his hole, 
that's the problem. Um, gotta get myself some breakfast to eat. I have some cereal in the back. Frosted shredded wheats waiting for me. Um, uploading the video for the other channel now. The link will be in the, in the description box below of this one. So, just so you guys know. Uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hopefully, uh, you know, we're going to make do with what's going on. This whole thing. Uh, Alright, see you guys in a bit. Bye. Hey guys, it is now oh, 12.25 in the afternoon. I'll show you what this looks like. I don't know if you can actually see that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like now. It's kind of nasty out here. Ash floating around and it smells like burning. So, I'll be gay. updating again in a little bit. Hey, I was just editing uh, a vlog when I realized I didn't close this out. I didn't say goodbye. Um, that's for today. I might actually <coughs> do another one tomorrow, do some extra. Tomorrow being Friday. Uh, this probably won't go up till Saturday or Sunday. I've got a couple more videos I gotta put up first. Um, so I will close this one out here. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on the uh, the fire and how it's affecting us here in Santa Barbara. Uh, it's just south of us. I just got a notification on my phone um, that southern part of Carpinteria is now a mandatory evacuation. Uh, it's no longer voluntary, which means the fire has moved. Um, so I mean, it's just, it's a tough one to deal with, you know. I can't even imagine people being forced out of their homes. Um, so I'm gonna cl uh, close this out here. Uh, I'll probably doing, I'll probably start shooting, filming some more for tomorrow, and that will probably go up. Hopefully, I'll get all these videos uploaded before weekends end, uh, before Monday. So uh, until then, I'll see you guys. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notifications, share it if you want to, uh, especially if you want to keep updated with how things are going here in Santa Barbara. I'm going to try to keep you all posted on that. So, until tomorrow, catch you guys. Peace.